The house is worth whatever it's worth, right? Whoever sells it. Uh, uh, wrong. I'm Charlie. Welcome to Moving Home with Charlie and thank you for coming. Charlie Landing grew up in Sussex, is the founder of Best Agent and presenter of Moving Home with Charlie. If you want to find one of these guys, look out for those compassionate professionals. All estate agents are not the same. So Charlie, what would be your advice for people interested in buying new builds right now? Don't overpay. Do buy, but don't overpay. That's why I say disregard the guff. Read into the numbers and look, and it's buried. The bad news is buried in the small print, okay? Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Property Press Awards. They may or may not be telling the truth, but you should form your own view. Get out and view, get out and view, get out and view. You cannot be in a position to make offers and have the offers accepted if you're not viewing. Just be out there viewing. Pre prefer uh. <laughs> Pay attention to the back of the class. If you've not been watching my videos, I did one just a couple of days ago. Disregard the guff, guys. Good evening, everybody. This is a very late night on Wednesday, the 15th of March, impromptu live stream, because just as I was about to go to bed, I was looking at the news and I realized that something's happening with Credit Suisse that I'm not gonna have a chance to report on in the morning. Uh, and I didn't wanna wait until tomorrow evening to do. And it's this, I mean, today was the day of the budget. And as I expected, the budget was a complete non-event a big fat nothing for the property industry. Uh, and that first story I'm showing there is, is the Home Builders Federation post on LinkedIn, which I have linked to below, uh, talking about how disappointing it was that there was nothing in today's announcement to facilitate anything for the property market. But what I really wanted to talk about in this video is to get straight to the point about Credit Suisse. Now, what it's worth pointing out to you straight away is that Credit Suisse is one of the world's biggest global investment banks. Uh, and this evening, it's been announced that the Swiss government is ready to step in with liquidity. In other words, to bail it out. Um, now, I'm not here to predict whether that's going to happen or not. Uh, I've been listening to the news about it today in some sort of specialist places. And the talk is of a carefully managed, staged, civilized, calm bailout. Because it is a very big bank. And if Credit Suisse fails the ripple effects from that will be very, very big. Uh, the other stories on the main websites are worth seeing. So there's a BBC one. I've linked to all these below if you want to go look at it. Uh, but this is the one that caught my eye this evening, which is the, the Telegraph story. Bank of England. The Bank of England is in emergency talks because of the Credit Suisse crisis. Uh, on Reuters, they're talking about... Swiss Central Bank throwing financial lifeline to Credit Suisse after shares pummeled. Their shares fell 30% today. And there was this paragraph I thought was worth reading out to you guys, which is that the statement came after a major government, a major government, not Switzerland, and at least one bank put pressure on Switzerland to act as the lender became caught up in a crisis of confidence after the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank last week. Um, now, if Credit Suisse fails, it will be triple the size of the uh, Silicon Valley Bank failure and a much deeper shock. And I've been looking at it, and I've been trying to work out actually what's happening. And, and I, I found this quote on Twitter, which I'll read to you quickly from someone called Rabbits. I've linked to this guy as well below. Think of the most toxic nuclear waste imaginable that the system has been trying to bury deeper and deeper for decades, but nothing works. It just keeps bleeding into the water table. This two are worse. If Credit Suisse goes, Deutsche Bank goes, and the shit hits the fan for real. Now, I don't know if that's true. That's just an opinion from someone about if Credit Suisse goes, then Deutsche Bank goes as well. Um, but I did have a quick look at the assets under management. So this is what, what, merchant, what, what these banks do, right? They get paid for managing other people's assets. And in 2020, they had one and a half trillion Swiss francs, which is about $1.6 trillion. That was three years ago, right? Okay. One year later, they only had 743 billion francs, which is half. So they lost half of their clients. One of the world's oldest and biggest investment banks lost half its clients in 2021. Imagine a big old business losing 50% of their business. And then since then, it's come down. And actually, on the Credit Suisse website, it's now at 480 billion Swiss francs. So they've lost 65% of their business. Uh, 
And to me, and that's been gradual the last two years, that, that, that to me tells me that there's been a, an orderly exit over the last couple of years from two thirds of their clients just leaving. Um, now, what's the relevance of this to the UK housing market? Okay, I said, I said it's, it's Wednesday now. On Monday, I said, I don't know if Credit Suisse is gonna last the week. Um, if they don't, if they fail, I suspect that this is going to trigger uh, a, a, a bigger crisis, not, not a massive overnight one, but a, but a, a much bigger crisis. And we might just be on the verge. We might just be. I'm not saying it's going to happen. Okay, this could get rescued. The Swiss bank could come in and they could stabilize it. The Swiss national bank, I mean the government, uh, they could stabilize it and it could just be all calm and it won't be a crisis. But but I think that actually the shockwaves of that bank failing will, will reverberate and could are likely to cause a financial crisis on a scale we haven't seen since at least 2008. If that happens, it's impossible to tell what, what happens after that. We then move into a period of, of relative chaos, especially if Deutsche Bank goes. I mean, Deutsche Bank, the German bank. I was talking to Housing Stig about this today. He said if Credit Suisse, so a Swiss very big Swiss bank and a very big, the national German bank were both to fail. We are looking at a 2008 or worse scenario for different reasons, different reasons this time. Um, but nevertheless, a big problem. I, I, and I don't know what it means. I don't know what it means for the housing market. Um, it cannot be good. It just simply can't be good. Uh, uncertainty and turmoil equals everybody stopping what they're doing, not knowing what to do, worrying about it. Uh, it uncertainty and turmoil in the financial markets tends to lead to higher interest rates, uh, unless they decide to go emergency lower interest rates, which is something that they could do. Right? It's something that they could do. Um, but what tends to happen in these scenarios is that, is that you get panic reactions even from governments and central banks, and you just go into a period of complete sort of chaos, which I hope doesn't happen. It won't help anybody if that happens. Uh, but I wanted to just get this video out there, let people know that it looks like Credit Suisse is going to be relying on the Swiss government to bail it out, which will be considered a failure and which might then actually have shockwave effects into the market. Uh, because if the Telegraph is recording the Bank of England emergency talks about Credit Suisse, that tells you that that you know this is a, a wide and far and deep reaching problem if it happens. So let's hope it doesn't happen. I don't know if it's going to happen. It's looking likely, not definite. Um, what does it mean? It's not good news. It's not it's, you know, if, as far as the housing market is concerned. It's not good news. Some people might think it's good news in the long run. That's maybe that, that may or may not be the case. But in the short term. Financial uncertainty is never a good thing for the housing market. Um, so forewarned is forearmed, and I would be trying to tie up as many deals as you can. If you're, if you're buying or selling, you want to get a transaction over the line, I would make haste. Um, if you're umming and ahhing about what to do, I would just wait to see. Just, I mean, you're only going to be waiting a matter of days, if not hours, for the Credit Suisse situation to play out, I think. Um, I suspect that this could trigger a Thursday morning uh, financial market uh, turbulence, put it that way. Anyway, it's late. I'm tired. Um, I've got to get up early. Um, I just wanted to get this out there and I will talk to you soon at greater length. Hope everyone's okay. Sleep well. Who have we got in the chat? Got to say hi. Hi, Jack. Is it only on Facebook? Ooh. <laughs> okay. Why is that not live on everywhere else? That's bizarre. Well, welcome to everyone who's on Facebook. <laughs> I wonder why there weren't many people watching. <laughs> it's late and I'm tired. I will, uh, I will upload the recording of this to YouTube. See you guys. Bye-bye.